Hi, my name is J.J. Routley, and I'm the author of the new book, Eternal Submission, A Biblical and Theological Examination. This book discusses the question of whether or not Jesus the Son is eternally submissive or subordinate to the Father as it relates to their eternal relationship. Now, there's a heated debate in evangelicalism today about the Son's submission. Some want to say the Son only submits to the Father in his humanity, but is fully equal with God the Father eternally, both in his essence and in their personal relationships. Others believe that the Son willingly and voluntarily submits to his Father, not only in his humanity, but eternally, while at the same time being fully ontologically equal uh, to his Father in terms of their essence. Now, much has been written recently against the Son's eternal submission, and many of the arguments place heavy emphasis upon uh, creeds and confessions of the early church. Although the history and tradition of the church is very important to this discussion, I felt that at times the scriptures themselves were being overlooked in this debate. So this book takes a look at a biblical and theological argumentation for the eternal submission of the Son, paying careful attention to several passages of Scripture. In this book, I survey some of the recent Trinitarian debate, engaging with critics of eternal submission, before setting out to provide biblical and theological support for the doctrine. I also address implications of this debate for Trinitarianism and for theological anthropology as it relates to gender roles uh, in the church and in the home. My hope is that if you are new to these theological issues, that this book would provide you with a good starting point to enter into the discussion. If this is something where you are a little more seasoned uh, veteran of a, this debate, that this book would help you get back to the text of Scripture to analyze how God's Word presents the eternal relationship between the Father and Son. I hope you enjoy.